First off, here's my answer to the question of whether or not Stellar Eclipse is an OC. And my answer is... No! What gave you that idea? No, 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 no! 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 Secondly, you'll be pretty much relieved to know that Megan McCartney will be helping Cory this time. Even if you are not fans of him. <sighs> Why? Anyway. Yes, I can have better results this week. So. Starts off with... PewDiePie announcing that the Fall in Philly Fair is coming up. Gee, how many celebrations we're we gonna have to keep track of. And Rarity is working on something for a puppeteer. Pretty good. But when we get to the point where she shows it to the puppeteer, he turns her down. And she takes it too seriously. Yeah, hold hold on a second. Cory Powell, may I help you? <laughs> but luckily Spike, being the good friend that he is, goes out to the old castle to find a book that can help her. Okay. He suddenly stumbles upon a secret chamber and... A long-forgotten stone book? Not exactly a textbook landing, but he's still got all his limbs and his head, which is unusual. That's unbelievable. <laughs> well, Aloysius was along, and he seems to be a little lenient. Um, resistant. Hmm, that could lead to something. But when Rarity tries it, it appears that the book seems to possess unnatural evil powers. No, not that one! That's a completely different franchise! Much better! But of course, they barely seem to take notice of her side and... show the puppeteer a new... stage that that actually works for him this time. Thank you! And if you're wondering, no, it does not explain if it's something Chrysalis made or if it's something that Chrysalis came across, but that would be interesting. I think. After she says we fall in Philly Fair, Spike wants to return it, but Rarity wants to hold it on to it a little longer. Hmm. I wonder what she'll come up with next. Well, it turns out there are more dresses than Rarity usually turns up. Wow. And she decides to express her creativity on Ponyville. Oh boy, I got a feeling that a form of hijinks is gonna ensue! Starts off with Rarity, Rarity changing the apple cart into something more glamorous.
Then we go to Rainbow Dash, she's gonna get dressed for her cloud kicking. <laughs> Fluttershy gets a bird mansion, if you will. And a Pinkie Pie party turns into something more upper class. <laughs> wow. <laughs> If that's not enough, Spike is the crystal suit of armor. Ooh! I wonder if he's going to wear that to the crystal the vampire next time he's there. But the thing that gets Spike to have follow all the wishes and try to snap her out of it is the fact that she traps two ponies in the town hall. It's been turned to crystal of all things. I wonder if that sort of thing got to the Crystal Empire. So Spike tries to take it away from Rare. He get away from Rarity, but the best thing he can do is eat it. <laughs> but why is it, why is this but didn't it burn or something? I inside I um Okay, I don't think that was a legitimate question. I think we get the answer later. But unfortunately, that doesn't stop her. She wants to spread her creativity throughout Equestria, and Spike ends up telling the truth. That's unbelievable. <laughs> wow. I should have known that the book works, works by saying, only when true words are spoken will you finally be set free. That's... Interesting, to say the least. So the entry's been made. Twilight tells him to never take another book of the old castle library again. We'll see how long that lasts. And Spike is honest with her looks. Which appa and apparently he barely takes note of what was transpired or happen happening. I d what? Funny ending there, you two. Funny ending. So, overall, this was a pretty good episode. I'm sure this is going to be a lot better than the previous Cory Powell episode because Megan was along to help. So, um, yeah. Four out of five. Next week, get ready to gather your cheering gear and light the torch for everybody because the Equestrian Games are coming. See you then!